Thanks very much, Bill. I'm so excited to be joined this morning by uh, my guest. His name is Dr. Michael Fenster. Good morning to Good you. Good morning, Jennifer. Now, Good I'm, to be here. I'm looking at your resume. You're an interventional cardiologist. Correct. You're a martial artist. Yes, ma'am. You're a professional chef. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so what are you, you're going around the country right now, and you're encouraging people to do what? Uh, we want to help folks learn how to eat uh, better, eat, eat well, and live better. And you're doing that. I mean, I, I'm reading this. You've got a book coming out. You yes, said it's Je coming January out. 2012. And you're talking about um, getting away from processed fast food, which is oh, so tough gosh. to do with all of the options that are available. It, it is, but there are ways that we can do it. And we can do it in kind of small increments. We can do it. It's better for our bodies. It's better for our lives. And importantly, in these tough times, it's better for our wallets as well. So what if you if you give people like two or three tips to, to that are going to be in your book, a little sneak peek, <laughs> two or three tips of, of ways that they can better their life through healthier eating. What do you do? What do you say? Well, the first thing I say is uh, look towards whatever is in your area. So if you have a, a local farmer's market, if there are specials at your local grocery, if you have a local butcher, all those things help you eat fresh. And that helps us avoid a lot of those processed foods. We really, really want to try to stay away from those. The more we're finding out, it's not only that fast food, but for example, people are always coming to me as a cardiologist saying, Doc, I've got to cut down on my salt. How do I do that? Well, about 77% of the sodium or salt that we intake comes not from salt added at the table or salt seasoned as a chef to make the food taste great, mm -hmm. but comes from that processed food. Uh, sodium added as a sodium benzoate, a preservative, uh, sodium monoglutamate as a flavor enhancer, et cetera, et cetera. I'm always curious when you look at even just cereal and how much sodium is involved exactly. in something as simple as cereal. Yes. And, and you always think about when you hear the, oh, the too much salt, that it's the table salt, but it's not. It it's is not. It's, it's, it's that processed stuff. And people are thinking, well, I'm going to go to the grocery store and kind of cook my own food and, you know, that'll be good. But they're buying prepackaged stuff, things uh, that are uh, pre-done food, and they're, uh, it contains tremendous amounts of preservative salt processing and even just the act of processing can affect the very ratios of natural food if we take a uh, processed pork it's very rich in potassium mm -hmm. very low in sodium delicious wholesome meat you can get from your local grocer etc you get instead of very processed piece very high in sodium and a lot of other additives and chemicals well part of it is exercise and yes. you're a martial artist which Absolutely. is one of the many ways that you can get mm -hmm. exercise and and healthy and stay healthy and you've got some folks in here that are going to help you we do we yeah. have uh, Ed Glimmy from uh, Ed Glimmy Budo here in town. Locally, um, locally right. Locally in lacrosse. Yeah. And he just hosted uh, Shihan Millis, one of the world's experts in the martial art I study, Bujinkan Budo Tai Jitsu. Okay. And so what are they going to show us today? Gentlemen. Go ahead. Take over. <laughs> They're going to show us, yeah. Just some basic uh, techniques here. So uh, he's just showing, gosh, you know, just uh, some of our basic building blocks of techniques on how to move about. And you can see, too, uh, one of the things that Ed does at his dojo uh, here in town, which is at uh, 1355 Caledonia, Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, 7.30 p.m., uh, you can see he teaches not only how to move, but uh, a, a little bit of stretching, a little bit of flexibility. And any kind of exercise has been shown to be helpful, but specifically looking at martial arts, it's been shown to help us prevent bone fractures in old age, uh, help improve cardiovascular health. Uh, believe it or not, looking at all sorts this of different This is tying types. all of your thing, your, your expertise is in. It, it, it really does. <laughs> you know, I've been involved with the martial arts for many decades, and um, this has really, really, uh, you know, brought about a synthesis of kind of the food. The diet is one aspect. Um, the medicine, obviously, another. And then, obviously, physical activity. As a cardiologist, I'm always talking to folks, well, hey, Get out there, do some exercise, get active, and this well, is a great I'm way to do it. I'm sweating. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> we only have about 30 seconds left, so really quickly, tell you, talk about your book and when it's coming out. So the book will be out in January 2012. It's called Eating Well, Living Better, a Grassroots Gourmet a Guide to uh, Good Food and Great Health. Awesome. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for Thank joining you. us, and I appreciate you coming in. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> We're going to take a break. We'll be right back.